Hello there. How are you doing today? It's a great day outside, isn't it? Well, my name is Brandon Middleton. I understand you are here, in here today for your basal cell carcinoma. Well, the good news is we have a way to help. We are going to perform Mohs surgery or Mohs micrographic surgery. The purpose and goals of this surgery are to remove as much of the skin cancer as possible while also doing very little damage to the healthy tissues. <clears throat> Mohs surgery is used to remove basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas. These are the two most common types of skin cancer. These are also known as non-melanoma skin cancers. It is a slow moving cancer that rarely moves to other parts of the body and are cell based. Stephen D. Mayberry will be performing your surgery. He's highly qualified MD and FACMS, which means Fellow American College of Most Surgery, just in case you were wondering. He is highly qualified in pathology and reconstructive surgery. Mose is done in steps while you wait for incoming labs to be determined. Everything is done on site instead of waiting for your results days later. A specially trained surgeon will draw marks around the area with ink, then inject anesthesia. Then, while using a scalpel, the thinnest layer of the visible cancerous tissue will be removed. You will then be ba bandaged up and shown to the waiting room to wait. The surgeon then color codes the tissue with ink to map exactly where it was removed from the body. Then the tumor will be processed by freezing it so that it can be cut in very slim slices and then put on slides. The slides will then be examined underneath a microscope. If more cancer cells are found, then you are asked back into the operation room to be redone. If the procedure needs to be repeated, it could take up to several hours. It can be done in less than a day, though. It really just depends on the test and the time it takes to get everything right. It is easy to take care of the area after the stitches are put in, just like everything else. Keep dry for the first 24 hours after surgery. Keep away from exercising and work for 24 to 48 hours. Just like everything else, keep it clean, wash with soap and water, soap and water, or use hydrogen peroxide, then rebandage it up for the next seven to ten days. If it if it starts to swell, put ice on it to reduce the swelling. Let's go ahead and get you scheduled for a follow-up appointment in three weeks. From now we will take it from there. Have a nice day.